Welcome back to the Anime Audit. This episode, we are looking into our favorite historian and enemy of the world government, Nico Robin. Fact number one. In One Piece screen, Secret Pieces, an early concept of the crew was revealed. In this concept art, Robin replaces a man that was supposed to be more of a plant lover than a history lover. He was a botanist, which is seemingly a passion that Usopp picked up after the time skip. I'm glad that Oda moved forward with this version of Robin, and Robin is one of my favorite characters in the series and has an incredibly cool personality. I'm also glad that Usopp acquired this love for nature and hopefully will continue to use it to help the crew accomplish their mission. Fact number two. Robin is the only Straw Hat member besides Jinbei to have performed Fishman Karate. And honestly, I don't know anyone else on the crew that would really want to learn it. I guess maybe Sanji or Usopp could have a use for it, but they more or less have their own fighting style. Robin is also the only known Devil Fruit user to use Fishman Karate, as well as the first human using it, shown in Chapter 605. That is, of course, before Koala's debut. During the two year time skip, Robin spent some time with Koala, who was a Fishman Karate instructor as well as Sabo. Under Koala's guidance, Robin managed to learn the basics of Fishman Karate and has used it to become even stronger. Fact number three. The cowboy hat she wears during the first arc is related to the giant that she befriended during her time on Ohara. That giant, if you don't remember, is none other than Jaguar D. Saul, who was a former vice admiral and first appeared on the island of Ohara. He was introduced in Robin's flashback during the Ennies lobby arc, and by then he had already left the Marines. Outside of his size, his cowboy hat is definitely the most memorable part of his character design. Oda really outdid himself with this backstory, and I really want more out of Robin, and her time before joining Baroque Works are the Straw Hats. You really feel for Robin, and this might be something that you missed at first, but it definitely makes sense after you put the two together. Fact number four. Robin is the only member of the Straw Hats to never actually be invited to join the crew. She decided to join on her own a decision that no one really had any issues with. Additionally, Robin is the only member of the Straw Hats to debut before another member, but join after them. In this case, Chopper joined the crew before Robin left Baroque Works. Robin has gone on to achieve great things since leaving Ohara, however, her true role in the story has not yet been fulfilled. She is, after all, an enemy of the world government for a reason. Fact number five. In a Shonen Jump issue, Oda was asked which character from One Piece would you like to be and why? Oda responded by saying that he would want to be Nico Robin, so that he could sprout hands and draw manga 20 times as fast. Fact number 6. In the popularity poll, Robin is currently ranked as the 6th most popular character in One Piece. Robin started off pretty strong during the initial first few rankings, but she started to decline from 2015 to 2020. Her being towards the top of the first few rankings lines up pretty well with the Ennies Lobby arc, and her iconic I Want to Live line explains why she had a sudden bump in popularity. Her decline falls in line with the post time skip section of the story where she doesn't do a whole lot and is more or less a background character. I guess we'll see where she ends up and what Oda has planned for her going forward. Fact number seven. Robin's birthday, February 6th, is derived from her name like a lot of other One Piece characters. The two and the six were chosen due to her surname. Robin also happens to share her birthday with her mother, Nico Olivia. Her birthday is also tied to her time on Tequila Wolf, which is where Robin spent the beginning of the time skip. That connection is from her slave number, which is 3926. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like anime related content, you should hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel and it'll push this video to more people. From looking at my analytics, 98.6% of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you like anime related content, subscribe. After you've hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. You can really influence the direction of this channel. Now let's get back to the video. Fact number eight. In the manga, several kids are depicted throwing rocks at Robin, yet in the anime adaptation, they throw tomatoes. Later on, while she attempts to board the evacuation ship, Robin is met with resistance from the evacuees, which is only shown in the manga, and is completely missing from the anime. Fact number 9. Robin represents the prefecture of Osaka, which is home to one of my favorite cities that I've ever visited. Osaka isn't exactly Japan's premier historical destination like Kyoto, but it is one of their most important and populated cities. It's really interesting to see Robin get such an important prefecture and city as Osaka, despite not having too much of an impact post time skip. Don't get me wrong, she's definitely had her moments, but I feel like she's been a little disrespected and left out of some major moments. I'm extremely hopeful that Robin will play a major role in the ending of One Piece though, so hopefully she'll have that going for her. Fact number 10. If One Piece was set in the real world, then Robin would be from Russia. This is a fact that obviously shocked a lot of fans due to her attacks being both French and Spanish. 
In addition to this, when Oda was asked what would the Straw Hat Pirates be doing if they were not pirates, he said that Robin would be a cabin attendant. I can totally see this fitting her personality, this kind of job be something she could be really good at. At the same time, I just can't bring myself to believe that this is the sort of job that would make her happy. She loves history and learning too much to be in this kind of a job for too long. I mean, Oda has even said what Robin's main thoughts revolve around, and those thoughts are learning, reading, and history. I think that careers like an archaeologist, a writer, or even a professor would fall much more in line with her interests. Fact number 11. Now, for this fact, I want to discuss Robin's bounty. At the age of 8, Robin is one of the youngest characters in One Piece to receive a bounty. The only other person I could think of is Charlotte Linlin, otherwise known as Big Mom, who got her bounty of 50 million berries at only the age of 6. Robin's first bounty was 79 million berries, which is shockingly even higher than the bounty Big Mom received. This further showcases that Robin is a massive threat to the world government. Robin has continued to grow her bounty over the years. Throughout her life, she's had multiple different bounties. After the events of the Ennies Lobby arc, Robin was given a bounty of 80 million berries, which I kind of believe to be a slap in the face to her character. She definitely warranted more of a raise than just 1 million berries. Following the two-year time skip, Robin was even stronger than before, and after helping the crew beat the Don Quixote pirates, her bounty increased 130 million berries. After Wano, Robin received a bounty of 930 million berries. This increase was primarily due to her threat to the world government and for beating Black Maria of the Beast Pirates. I believe that she has been completely disrespected by the world government so far, and that her bounties should have definitely been worth more throughout most of the show. Fact number 12. Being one of the youngest characters in One Piece to receive a bounty, Robin is also one of the youngest characters to ever get devil fruit powers. Robin ate the Hana Hana no Mi devil fruit when she was 8 years old, making her the third youngest character to ever get devil fruit powers. She's right behind Luffy, who was 7 years old when he ate his devil fruit, and Big Mom, who was only 6 years old when she ate her fruit. Acquiring her power at such a young age definitely gave her time to master her devil fruit. It's safe to assume that Robin used this time because she's able to sprout over a thousand limbs and body parts at one time. This is something that Oda's confirmed, and after all, we see this all the time during the show. Fact number 13. Robin is the only member of the crew so far to have met Luffy's father, Dragon. Thanks to Robin being with the Revolutionary Army during the time skip, she's already met characters of the Revolutionary Army like Dragon. Luffy was made aware of Dragon by Garp on Water 7, however, he still hasn't met his father face to face in the anime. Although her relationship with Sabo and Koala is very clear for fans to see in the anime, we don't really know how much she knows about Dragon but I'm sure that's going to come out as we near the end of the show. Fact number 14. Now, I doubt this will surprise anyone, but the 4Kids version of the series is incredibly inconsistent with the manga and, of course, the original anime. While attempting to cover up Robin's cleavage, 4Kids took to having Robin wear undershirts or changing her outfits completely. The decision was probably made to make the show a little bit more family-friendly and to appeal to more parents who might be watching the show with their children. The problem is that they couldn't really keep track of these changes and have Robin wearing different outfits in different scenes. It's one of the many inconsistent issues with the 4Kids version of the dub and why fans absolutely hated that version of the series. Now that's all I have on Robin for today. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe as it'll recommend my video to more people and it'll encourage me to make more content like this.